As the battle reached a stalemate, Benimaru made a surprising move. He approached Elnesia, addressing her with respect. Your Majesty Elnesia, I have a request. What is it? I'd like you to temporarily transfer command of those knights, the Magus, to me. That's quite impossible. I understand that. But we've received word that Milan Sama will arrive soon. If we don't take action and let this continue, the damage to this region will be immeasurable. I've been ordered to do whatever it takes to prevent that. Is that Rimukai's request? Yes. While normally, I wouldn't agree to this no matter how friendly we are, if Rimukai is requesting it, I suppose we have no choice. Like boss, like subordinate, huh? Almija muttered to herself as she summoned her group leaders. Zalerio found this development quite incredulous. This is absurd. Well, that's Rimuru for you, to that extent. Yeah, honestly, I don't quite understand it myself. For some reason, Zalerio started to sympathize with Leon, his supposed enemy. Nevertheless, Zalerio couldn't help but wonder what Benimaru had in mind while dealing with Jahel. He observed as the group leaders grumbled about the situation, but Elmija silenced them with threats, emphasizing that it was a matter of life or death. An image then appeared in the air, projected by Benimaru using his powers. What's that? It seems to be a mirage application. Benimaru appears to have improved upon Rimuru-sama's surveillance magic, Argus. The projected video showed Rimuru and his team in action. Rimuru was facing Milam, and Guy was dealing with Velzard. Surprisingly, Velgrind was cooperating with them to minimize collateral damage. I didn't expect Velgrind to cooperate. Rimuru's ability to manipulate others is impressive. I'd call it natural charisma. Celerio couldn't help but wonder why Velzard's target was Guy and questioned Feldway's intentions. He turned to look behind him at the ancient divine tree that had protected the land for eons still standing strong despite Jahel's flames. The sacred tree had shielded the region during the war between Milam and Guy in the past. With Michael gone, Feldway's plan to revive Veldanava had failed. Zalario felt a chill as he considered what Feldway might be after next. Only two relics remained in the world, the sacred tree and Heaven's Tower. Zalario had no desire for destruction and believed he should stop this madness as a friend. He decided to take action, turning his attention to Benimaru. He was impressed by Benimaru's leadership of the Magus, not only holding his own against Jahel but also preparing for the impending natural calamity. In this regard, Jahel seemed to be the smaller person. Zalerio, who disliked Jahel, couldn't help but gain a favorable impression of Benimaru. His decision was clear. Zalario addressed Leon and the others, revealing his desire for freedom. As you know, I am still under the influence of Michael's control. I've regained some control to voice my thoughts, but Michael's influence remains. What are you getting at? If you've experienced something similar, you'd understand my request. Are you asking us to help free you? You catch on quickly, Zalerio replied casually, introducing a certain proposal. Benimaru had assumed control of the Magus, fully aware of Milan Sama's terrifying power. The terrain of the Kasia Mountains had already undergone significant alterations, and if the situation persisted, this area would suffer a similar fate. Benimaru was resolute in his determination. Rimuru's directive was straightforward. Predict the trajectory of the impending attack and somehow redirect it. If nothing was done, the impending crisis would devastate the land. Benimaru emphasized that he had received orders from Lord Rimuru-sama, compelling everyone to comply. Failing to do so would result in the homeland's destruction. Milam's roar alone had the potential to obliterate mountains and rivers, causing water sources to vanish and rocks to crumble. Rimuru struggled to pacify her, despite his best efforts. While collaborating with Velgrin to minimize collateral damage, Rimuru focused on containing Milam's onslaught. However, Benimaru recognized that Rimuru's actions were preventing greater devastation. Was it merely Rimuru's way of not causing unnecessary worry? Or was there a deeper motive? Regardless, Benimaru had a single task at hand, to divert Milam's attention momentarily and potentially alter the attack's course. He understood it was a risky gamble, but he chose to place his trust in Rimuru, as he had always done, for it was the only path to victory. Almija inquired if anyone had objections regarding Benimaru's authority over the Magus, her question carrying a hint of intimidation. There were no objections, as no one in their right mind would contest the command after witnessing Milam's might. Had Almija issued the order without proper consideration, everyone would have followed Benimaru, even at the risk of their lives. Nevertheless, there might have been individuals who worked reluctantly, lacking full comprehension and harboring dissatisfaction. Benimaru didn't anticipate this level of detail but had managed to resolve the situation in the most optimal way possible. Notice. I have compiled the current state of affairs as concisely as possible. Beginning playback.
I would like to shout out to my top Patreon followers, Gerald Gonzalez, Quest, Cheesebean, Carito, Jason Torres, and Edward Bailstream, and also for the top commenter of the week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next videos. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below.